Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. We we'll rejoice and be glad as we pray and prophesy to our day. It helps us to take charge. There is power in praying according to God's word. If you want to see supernatural results, stay connected to what God's word have said. If you want to move from one level to another, stay connected to God's will. And when we're connected to the will of God, great things happen. How are we going to see great things? It's when we're connected to the will of God. When we're connected to the word of God. Now, we'll be looking at bind and lose. You know, this is a way of praying also in the scriptures. Uh, I'd like us to look at Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. Matthew 16, verse 18. Uh, Matthew 16. Thank you for those watching us from Germany, wherever you're watching from. We appreciate you for coming in this morning. Thank you. Okay. In Matthew 16, verse 18, I say also unto thee, thou art Peter, upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. These are the words of Jesus. Thank you for watching from Kansas City. Thank you for watching from Netherlands. Thank you. Thank you for watching me from Netherlands this morning. Thank you. You're welcome, everyone watching from Netherlands. I love you. Looking forward to being in Netherlands, Netherlands soon. Praise God. Okay. And he said, And I said unto thee, that thou art picked upon this rock, I will build my church. Okay, St. Peter. Okay, I just want to welcome everyone officially coming into this broadcast, wherever you're coming from around the world. Thank you for viewing. And I encourage you to invite your followers also encourage you to tap the heart as much as you could. I know you want to write, you want to pray. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. And uh, thank you. Okay. And I say unto thee, that at Peter upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This is Jesus talking. He said he's going to build his church, and the gates of hell will not prevail. The church that Jesus is building is a church that hell cannot resist. The church that Jesus is building is a church that has the potential to subdue hell. We are called to subdue hell. We are called to rule over hell. We are called to be in charge. Why? Because we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And we have what is called authority. And in the place of prayer, we exercise our authority. One place we are called to exercise our authority is in the place of prayer. As we recognize our authority in Christ Jesus, that is the foundation for enforcing, the foundation to enforce our victory. And you can enforce your victory because the victory of Jesus is your victory. It doesn't matter what is trying to contend with you or resist you or stand against you. You can overcome it. It is in our nature to manifest the overcoming life. It is in our nature to subdue hell. It is in our nature to subdue situation. That was why Jesus said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. So the gate of hell cannot withstand the church that Jesus is building. Now, he said in verse 18, in verse 19, sorry, he said, And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of the heaven. Kingdom, I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. 
and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. This is actually Jesus saying, I have given you the authority to decide what will happen around you, what will happen in the earth realm. The church have the ability to decide what happens in the earth realm. Because we have this power to bind, then heaven said, yes, whatsoever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. You see, when we, when we speak here, heaven hears, you have the authority, you have the, the, the platform to speak the word of God and see the God kind of results. Are you going to see that result? He said, whatsoever you bind on earth. So there is no demon that is capable enough to harass your destiny without your cooperation. No demon is capable enough to harass you, to renew. No demon is powerful as that. Whatever that happens around the believer, he or she permits it. Because in the name of Jesus, you have authority. You have power, you have ability, you have grace, you have might to deal with any situation that tries to oppose the integrity of God's word. Because we are here as God's ambassadors to represent the kingdom in the full capacity, to represent it in power, in riches, in blessing, in dominion, in honor, in glory and in might, we are here to represent the kingdom because we are the body of Christ. We are the body. And this body is being controlled by a head in Colossians 2. In Colossians chapter 2, verse 10. Colossians 2, verse 10, he said, We are completed in him, which is the head of all principalities and power. Colossians 2, verse 10. Now, the first scripture we read was, uh, Matthew 16, the first scripture we read was Matthew 16 from verse 18 to 19. Matthew 16 from verse 18 to 19 was the first scripture we read. And he said, I will build my church. I want us to understand this, that the church of Jesus is a living church, is a, a powerful church. Most people in church may have not realized the power we have they may have not realized the potential we have, the ability we have, but that does not cancel the existence of the power of God that is within us. So we have power. When we, when we pray, we, we have the ability to lose things. We have the ability to bind things. And we have the ability to determine what happened because we are the church. The victory of Jesus was given to us as we can manifest the kingdom authority in this place called it. The victory of Jesus was given to us as we can manifest the kingdom authority. As we can manifest the kingdom authority. The, the victory of Jesus was given to us as we can manifest the kingdom authority. We, we can flow in power, we can flow in miracles, we can flow in signs and wonders because we are the body of Christ. We don't have to be afraid of witches. We don't have to be afraid of uh, occultism, sorcery. We don't have to be afraid of that because we have the real power. We have, he said, uh, no weapon from against thee shall prosper. You know, the scripture said that uh, no weapon. It doesn't matter how the weapon looks. The weapon of words, the weapon of men. He said, no weapon. But we need to step into our position in authority and begin to exercise our authority by faith. This is why we're going to pray. And when we pray, things move. When we pray, things change. When we pray, we demand that the atmosphere respond to the power of God's word. When we pray, we demand that things happen in our favor because we have the ability from God to decide the atmosphere. Every Christian is powerful 
but it's not every Christian that is walking in the reality of the power. Every believer is powerful. Every believer is carrying Christ in them. But it's not every one of them is functioning in the revelation of who they are in Christ. And that revelation is essential for the manifestation of power. He said he came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So this morning, let's begin to lift up the name of the Lord. Let's begin to thank God. Oh, Father, we give you praise. Le kama zukanta lamba, reko masaka talibro do seketa liba, reko tolibra don shakababa. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you glory. Malika prato seketende rebo shamba, mbredis kata lambro do seketa lababa. Rika masanta likra do shenta ba, le kama sukali kapara do, mbredo sakata lambo sokoto limba, reke masukala brado seketa liba ba, reko masaka talibro do saka. In the name of Jesus, we are going to bind right now, according to God's word. We are going to bind whatever that may stand in opposition with what God has called us to do. Whatever that will stand in opposition to what God has called us to do. In the name of Jesus, we bind every satanic manipulation, every demonic conspiracy. We bind it in the name of Jesus. We come against every work of darkness. We come against every plan that is not in our favor. Every demonic agreement, every demonic conspiracy, every satanic Deception, whatever that is not ordained by the Heavenly Father, we root it out in the name of Jesus. We bind every tongue that rise against us in the name of Jesus. Every word, every vibe in the earth. Atmosphere, liko parata baba baba, liko masanta li baba baba, raka masonto li granda shababa, rendo shakata li braga baba. We bind it in the name of Jesus. Right now, we are going to bind every spirit of violence that is attacking people in different nations of the world. Every spirit of violence. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bind every spirit of violence going around attacking the church, attacking the people of God. We bind every spirit of violence in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of violence. We bind it in the name of Jesus. We come against the attacks. Every spirit instigated against the body of Christ, instigated against God's people. We bind it in the name of Jesus. We come against it. We bind every work of darkness. We bind everything that causes stagnation. Now we're going to bind whatever that may cause stagnation to your journey in life. Sometimes you're trying to move forward and you, you just see this stagnation. You just this, see this opposition, this contention. Right now, let's begin to bind every stagnation. We bind every stagnation. We command it to be gone. Whatever that is causing stagnation in the realm of the spirit, we lose it in the name of Jesus. We command it to be broken. We lose it. We bind every form of stagnation in the realm of the spirit. Whatever that is causing hindrance. We bind every lying spirit. In the name of Jesus. Right now, we're going to bind every form of of policies that men bills that government are trying to pass into law that is in opposition to God's word. You know, sometimes you see people in leadership making decisions that disagree with the word of God. We're going to take authority right now 
in the name of Jesus, we bind every form of policy bills trying to go through that will become a law in the land. We bind it in the name of Jesus. It will never see approval. Every wicked law. In the name of Jesus, we bind every evil. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Man. Now, we are going to lose whatever you have been believing God for that may have been delayed either by spiritual forces. Right now, we lose it. We lose it. We lose it. In the name of Jesus, everything the Lord has called you to experience, we lose it right now. We lose the money. We lose the home. We lose the car. We lose the marriage. We lose everything that belongs to us. La Korika Prato Samba. Le Kondorobo Shantalababa. We lose it in the name of Jesus. Everything the Lord has called us to experience. We lose it right now. Masa Karikoto Baba. Every delayed document that we need to move to the next level. We lose it in the name of Jesus. La Karikotoriba. Rekete Rebo Santari Karababa. Rikama Sakatala Brata Baba. Every property that the enemy tries to take advantage of. We lose it in the name of Jesus. We lose it right now. We lose healing for people. We lose deliverance for those who are believing God for deliverance. We lose deliverance in the name of Jesus. We lose it. We lose it. We lose it. We lose it. We lose it in the name of Jesus. We lose every demonic conspiracy that is trying to lay hold of the lives of those who ought to be saved. We lose that spirit from them. We lose them from that bondage in the name of Jesus. We lose men and women from sudden deaths. In the name of Jesus. Now, we exercise our authority. One of the ways we exercise our authorities is when we pray. One of the ways we exercise our authority is when we pray, not when we complain, not when we nag, not when we get angry or bitter. It is when we pray. When we pray, we begin to exercise authority in the earth realm. When we pray, we begin to exercise authority in the earth realm. When we pray, something unusual begins to happen. We we'll begin to manifest the dominion mandate. We we'll begin to manifest the will of God. In the name of Jesus, we decree this morning. In the name of Jesus, nothing is impossible to those who pray. Nothing is impossible. No vision is impossible. No dreams is impossible. To those who pray, nothing is impossible. Because when you begin to pray, you begin to manifest the purposes of God. One of the ways we can manifest the purposes of God in the earth is when we pray. Not when we watch, but when we pray. Bible say watch and pray. So when we watch, we should get involved in praying. So let's begin to lose every soul that is supposed to come into the kingdom of God that the enemy has bounded. Let's pray right now. We lose every 
every soul in the nightclub, in prostitution, in gay relationship, in lesbianism, in whatever they are into, Lord, we loose them in the name of Jesus. We loose them by your power right now. We loose them by your power in the name of Jesus. We loose those women. We loose those men. We loose those children in child trafficking. We loose them in the name of Jesus. We lose them right now by the power of God. We lose them. Rambo Shantarababa. We lose them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. When we pray, we enforce our dominion. This is one of the ways we enforce our dominion is when we pray. When we pray, we enforce our dominion. We have dominion. So when we pray, we enforce the dominion. For in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the manifestation of your power. Let's begin to pray for your family, for your family right now. Let's pray for every family watching and every family that will watch this cup, that the power of God will melt every problem away, every situation that stands against the family. That Rekama Santari Koriva, Bredosa Kali Krapa Sotori Kaba, Blade Sekete Limbro do Sekete Liba, Rikondorobo Sakali Kaba, Rikapa Santoriba, Babari Torobo Sotoriba, Brede Sekete Likrapa Sotori Kaba, Bredo Sakali Kaba, Rindo Shababa, who pray for every family right now watching, partnering with this ministry, partnering with this vision, who pray for supernatural open doors, who pray for miracles, Likama Radababa, Rikoma Santari. Fulfillment of promise, fulfillment of visions, goals. Rikama suntori krapa shanda la baba. Rikama seketo libra gada. In Jesus' mighty name, we prayed. Amen. There is power in prayer. When we pray, one of the ways we release the power of God is to prayer. One of the ways we release the power of God is to prayer, because as you pray. You create an atmosphere where things can grow. When we pray, we create an atmosphere where things can grow. We create an atmosphere where things can flourish. Prayer creates an environment for supernatural success. Prayer creates the environment for supernatural success. If you want to succeed in your calling, then you have to enjoy prayer. If you really want to break through, if you want to succeed, it doesn't matter how anointed you are. There is a need to take over the atrium through the force of prayer. And when we pray, it helps us to release the potential that God has put in us. Sometimes as we are praying, the Holy Ghost begins to show us things. The Holy Ghost begins to remind us things, begins to tell us things. And when we pray, we begin to see things that God wants us to see. When we pray, as we pray, there's going to be unusual visitation of the Spirit of God. Miracles happen when we pray. Increase takes place when we pray. There are unusual things that happen when we pray. That was why Jesus said that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Because there is an energy that flows through prayer. There is an energy that when this energy is in operation, things begin to happen. As you pray, you hear more. A lot of people are suffering from demonic problem. Unknown to them. When you see someone commit suicide, when you see someone do something that is, uh, that is not in line with God's word, you know there is a demon. There is a demon after the person. But when we pray, we break loose. When we pray, we break loose. We see things happen. We create an atmosphere. Where great things happen. When we pray. We see manifestation. We see supernatural results. And this is why it's important. To make prayer a way of life. To make prayer a way of life. 
oh let's go ahead and begin to pray for for our cities for the, for our cities where we live that the peace of God will will flow through our cities the comprato sakababa rikandali mrado shakatali bragada lima shakababa rikama santali grababa rikantale bababa likama sababa rikatala brado sababa we pray for the peace of God to penetrate through the cities likama sakababa where there are violence we speak the peace of God masakaraba sekebaba we pray for those who are bound by the enemy those who are violent by because of the presence of evil spirit we we'll pray that god you lose them and will release the peace of god in the hearts of people in the destinies of people will bind that enemy in the name of jesus we decree and we declare that great things will happen thank you father in the name of Jesus, amen. Miracles happen when we trust God. Healing takes place when we believe God's word. Healing takes place when we believe God's word and make God's word the foundation of our action. Miracles happen. Supernatural deliverance takes place when you stand on God's word you have the authority to bind. You have the authority to lose things. You have the authority to see supernatural results. You have the authority to, to, to manifest the kingdom of God wherever you are. And the kingdom comes in power. The kingdom comes in dominion. The kingdom comes in power. You have the authority to speak and things begin to happen in your favor. You have the authority to speak for it. Expect miracles this season. Expect increase this season. I prophesy to you today that you will go forth from here and step into a new dimension of increase. You step into a new dimension of open doors. I prophesy supernatural strength upon you. Supernatural favor on your finances. I decree, I declare that you will walk in greater increase. You will walk in the joy of the Lord. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. There shall be no limitation. Every expectation is coming to pass this season. I join my faith with yours or whatever you're believing God for which is consistent with his word, that is consistent with his word. Receive manifestation in the name of Jesus. Receive miracles in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that your best of days begin from today. You will see good days. You will see greater days. In the name of Jesus, nothing shall be impossible to you. Nothing shall be impossible to you. You will go forward and you will fulfill your destiny. Every great dream that is in your spirit, receive the grace to bring it to pass. I call forth your helpers, liberals, those that will assist you, fulfill the call of God in your life. May they show up in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for supernatural release. In Jesus' name, amen. If you're watching this broadcast today and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you want to receive Jesus into your life, the opportunity is here. The greatest thing that could have ever happen to us is when we have Jesus in our lives. And you can repeat this prayer with me if you want Jesus to come into your life. Can you say this after me? Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that God have raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. If you pray that prayer with me, you can look for Bible Believing Church where you can be taught God's word and grow in your faith. Thank you for joining our broadcast today. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, It's Faithman Teaching. 
on YouTube. We'll have more than 220 videos on our YouTube channels. So you can receive the engrafted word of God that has the potential to transform you and inspire you to manifest the God life. You can also send me a friend's request on Facebook. It's Fitman Weather. On Facebook, you can connect with me on Facebook. It's Fitman Weather on Facebook. And also, you can look up for our tweet page and everything we're doing around the world. Your life will never remain the same. And you can also partner with us. Partnership goes a long way to help us keep reaching more and more people. Partnership is the key to supernatural increase. If you want to see increase, let's partner together. Let's support one another. Let's support the vision. Let's help in reaching more people. We are out here to save souls, to minister to people. And it takes finances for we to do any of our scope you're watching. This scope is done from Port Harcourt, Nigeria, West Africa. That's where I'm doing this scope from. So we'll pay for our internet bills. So you can say, Apostle, I want to support this ministry to ensure that you keep teaching more and more people and keep reaching life. You can do that to your PayPal. It's fitmanteaching at gmail.com. On PayPal, it's fitmanteaching at gmail. Dot com fitman teaching at gmail.com that's not the only medium in which you can receive we can also receive two monogram or if you want to do a bank wiring you can connect with us on facebook and we can give you some detail we love you thank you for watching this broadcast and don't forget you have the power to bind and to lose it is your part of your right and your authority in christ jesus we're going to be right back in the next few minutes to continue teaching today so just stay connected and you will never remain the same.